Hi dears, welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. It's me Anna with you here and today we are once again in Benidorm and we will be checking another hotel of Serbe Group. Today it's time for the Hotel Calypso. Situated in a privileged area only 300 meters from the Levante beach in a very vivid zone full of restaurants, bars, cafeterias and shops. Price quality wise together with the amazing ubication might become one of the best options for your holiday accommodation on the Levante beach. Let's head inside to take a closer look. A spacious lobby with a lot of natural light, the elevators that go to the rooms and the reception area towards the left. Right near it you have a small shop boutique with some typical souvenirs, branded goodies and a lot more for quite reasonable prices I must say. If you're interested in some of the goodies that are here ask at the reception and they will open the shop for you guys. By the way, in this Calypso Hotel, you also have a check-in online available. You can check the website for some more information. From the reception heading back to the main entrance, there is a lovely guest service staff available for the consultation, test booking or any queries that you might have during your stay. Just ask her and she will gladly assist you with anything. The right side from the entrance has very comfortable sofas to relax, read a book or just chit chat with someone. The rep stand is also right here together with the internet and computer area which works with coins in case you need it, I think it's one euro. And there is also some entertainment information board available throughout all the hotel areas and some games and internet area to entertain yourselves during the slightly worse weather, for example, in winter. There is a separate room used only for table games. You can ask them at reception and spend some time playing cards or any other game in here. The next area that we will be visiting is the luggage room. Imagine that you arrived too early or your flight leaves late at night. Where would you store your luggage if not? This is quite a spacious luggage room to store it for you until it's necessary. There is always a luggage waiter machine as you've seen and it costs 1 euro to wait your luggage before your trip to the airport. Continuing with one of the most favorite parts for everyone, the rooms. We'll be seeing five different rooms today and let's start with the two in the attached building. The first room we'll be checking right now is the adapted rooms. These ones are usually near the elevator as you can see and they end up with, end up with the number 01. There is a very spacious access for the wheelchair up to maximum two people and enough space to move around the room without any kind of issues. Here you have two single beds. There is also a phone right near the bed and you can call reception if you press number 99. They will assist you 24 hours in case you need anything. Right near the beds you also have a quite spacious wardrobe where you can leave all your things and a few other storage areas. These rooms overlook towards the backside and the palm trees garden as well as the swimming pool and the terrace of the Flash Hotel. Here on the terrace you have of course two chairs, a table and in each one of these rooms you also have an area to dry your swimsuits, towels and anything that you need. It's in each of the rooms of this hotel and you can see it right here in this very corner. Right now let's head to the bathroom. These bathrooms as these are adapted rooms they are totally prepared for people who are coming with a wheelchair in case that's the case. What you have here is all the amenities as well as hair dryer, towels, the specific mat to put in the shower just in case 
and the best thing is that there is also a small chair that you can use inside the shower and this shower these are the only ones that are on the floor level very important thing to know for a lot of people and the shower is also very very spacious Heading to the second room on the fourth floor in the same building. This will be the double room with the pool view. Here you ha can have either two single beds, like this is the case, and you also can have a double bed, but this is upon the availability. You can ask it, of course, as your personal preference. If the hotel has it available, they will provide it to you. There is a very spacious wardrobe here as well, a lot of place just to store things. The air conditioning, of course, is available. And right here below this table, what you do have is the safety deposit box that's free of charge. Several group hotels don't charge you for it. And there's also a mini fridge available. This is the view that you get from these rooms. And as I've told you, these are the sea view rooms. You have a view towards the main building of the Calypso Hotel and downstairs you have the main swimming pool area with one big pool and one slightly smaller one and a lot of space for the sun beds just to chill relax by the swimming pool and enjoy the nice spanish weather the terrace looks like approximately the same as the previous one of course you have a drying area for your clothes and of course some chairs and a table getting back inside towards the room let's see the bathroom bathrooms here are more or less the same the only difference is that this is not the adapted room anymore so the shower is actually closed and it's not on the level but all the rest like many teas shampoo shower gel cups hair dryer um, towels everything is provided the shower here is not as wide as in the previous adapted room but what i love about these bathrooms are the mirrors the mirror is just amazing so you can see all yourself in there just perfect for us ladies but also for the gentlemen switching to the main building floor number 11 here the next room that we will be checking is a family room these ones are up to four people and as you can see by the entrance there are two double beds in here it's also quite spacious i must say you have a lot of storage space right there you also have some place just to sit down in case you need to write something down or just be with your laptop and there is also of course the mini fridge and the safety deposit box right there inside of the cabinet there's also a television air conditioning of course and a slightly bigger wardrobe because having four people in the room is strictly necessary let's head to check on the views as you can see from this side of the hotel you can see swimming pool you can see a lot of tall buildings in here slightly see the mountains on the back as well but this part even though it's near the swimming pool it's also very quiet because it's floor number 11 here you have four chairs and a table to relax enjoy the fresh air and the views the bathroom here is slightly different from the one that we've used to see before the part of the sink and the mirror is separated from the shower and the toilet just because you are four people in here so imagine that you need slightly to separate these spaces just in case one of you just wants to brush your teeth wash your uh, face and the other one wants to go to the shower so that both of you could do the things at the same time this is why these two spaces were kind of separated and i must say that for these type of rooms i kind of enjoyed the planification of this bathroom the next room right here is the one that goes to the front view towards the main entrance towards the morgan tavern and a lot of bars here in the area this is the double room once again 
everything is the same as in all the previous rooms you have a mirror right here you have a table mini fridge you have the safety deposit box uh, two beds you have a television air conditioning all is the same and all the rooms by the way here they have terraces this room is slightly different because the uh, room is kind of in the corner so we will see that the terrace has a slightly strange shape by the way all the outside part of the hotel was renewed especially in the evening with all the led lights installed the outside part of the hotel looks just amazing from here you have the views even towards the sea just a little bit because of the tall buildings but still you can see it you can see a piece of benidorm island and just the most vivid part of benidorm and now let's head to the bathroom so that you could see the different uh, planification of the bathroom that they have in here. Here you have a bidet which we did not see in the previous ones, that's true, but everything else is exactly the same. The hair dryer, the amenities, the towels and these big magnificent mirrors that I just love to have in the hotel. And the uh, shower looks like this. Of course, here you have also towels. You have a specific mat, but all these um, showers, they are designed so that they would not be slippery from the very beginning. But if you want to use a mat, you can do that as well. And now let's head to visit the last room that we have personally. As for myself, these rooms, I find them a lot more spacious. Probably it's because of the ubication inside of the hotel where it's situated. But just look at this amazing spacious entrance. And it's only for two people with two single beds. But I just love the free area that you have in here. Especially if you want to store your luggage, to put something else in here, have it by hand. This is just ideal and this is the terrace this is slightly towards the left right near the flash hotel already and the terrace is slightly bigger because it's not actually the um, corner corner room as the one that we've previously seen of course some chairs table drying area and look at the views the Morgan Tavern is right there behind us a lot of different bars and restaurants and there is the best chicken place ever here in Benidorm which is called Mariano's and it's right there towards the left. There's also a tourism office there just in case you want to ask something out. And this is the bathroom, this is how it looks like. Of course you have all these same extras in here, it's very spacious as well. These bathrooms they also have a bidet, not all of them have, so you need to make sure you ask it if it's something that you need in your bathroom. What I love about these is that they have a lot of natural light as you could have seen in the shower. And right now, yes, the most amazing part probably of this video that you love because the food is one of the important parts of your stay in the hotel and a lot of people check and want to know which kind of food is served to make the decision whether to visit the hotel or not and this is the main restaurant i want to show you how the tables are served all the cups glasses they are put down so that you would know that no one else is sitting here and everything is prepared for you to sit down the restaurant has also a lot of natural light everything is separated by by the social distancing so everything is safe and secure we start with the bread section there is a different variety here quite a lot of different um, varieties of bread wholemeal white bread traditional one like baguettes you can um, find something specific for your taste in here there are also traditional Spanish colines, which are these ones right here that are used for the ensaladilla rusa, kind of Russian Spanish traditional salad. And now let's head to the cold section. Here, of course, you have some pate, you have traditional Spanish membrillo, which is this one right there. And you have also some variety of the cheese in the cheese section, just in case you are a cheese lover. 
After that, we go towards the meat section. This is just to have a light snack before the meal. You have a different types of meats, salami, ham, jamon, everything that you might need. There's also a butter and margarine right there. And this is the salad section. There is a big variety of pre-made salads already or just some separate sections of veggies, eggs, olives, and salsas so that you could prepare your own favorite and ideal salad for your meal. As you can see, for today, three prepared salads were ensaladilla rusa, ensaladilla campesina, which is this one right there, and the corn and lettuce and cheese salad. Here you have also some toppings just in case you need to add something to your salad. And this is the warm dish sections. Here you have a lot. There's cauliflower, like crepes right there. There's some spaghetti, some fish chips lasagna like a lot of different dishes and meals are prepared for you guys so you'll definitely find something in here also they are very warm especially right now when the winter is coming just look at how warm they are they're even boiling in here and apart from all these dishes, of course, you have a traditional Spanish paella right here to enjoy our traditional Spanish Mediterranean cuisine. There are also some soups right here. This one was today the cream of chicken soup with some dried bread croutons and lamb and veggie ragu right here. And of course, there's also a show cooking open kitchen available for you guys, just in case you want to ask something grilled and something extra to the dishes that they usually serve in the buffet. Here you have some mushrooms, some fish and meat section. And this is my true paradise. I just love the amount of the desserts that they have in Servi Group hotels. This is just incredible on how much work and dedication and creativity they put in all these desserts they look just amazing i've spotted out here at least three different types of huge cakes apart from all the mousse yogurts chocolate desserts traditional spanish flan a lot of different things in here any one of you will definitely be able to find your favorite dessert out of all times in here trust me and there are also not so sweet desserts just in case you are not a very sweet eater not like myself there is also a fruit section for those who don't really like sweets but they prefer to eat something natural there are whole fruits right here as bananas some nectarinas um probably apples some sauces to put on top of the fruit like chocolate vanilla and etc and there are also some cut fruit right there so you will definitely be able to have a nice meal and right now let's head to check the bar areas here in the hotel they have three different bars this one here is on the right side on the main floor uh, right side from the lobby and this is usually the bar that is open in winter right now it's not really necessary because they use another bars like terrace and the pool bar but in winter this one definitely will be opening up a lot of things have changed here as well. Those of you who have visited this hotel before, you can tell that the furniture has changed, changed its color. They've added some LED lighting here as well. So it looks even nicer than it was before. And I just could not, not show to you this amazing ceiling that they have in the center of this lobby area right near this bar. This is just gorgeous. There are a lot of mirrors in here which reflect the natural light. I'm still surprised how during all this video I did not appear in any of these mirrors, but I was trying my best. And right there near the closed bar, there is a door that leads you towards the outside terrace where you can also sit down and have a nice drink. And if you go down the stairs right here, you end up at the swimming pool area that we've seen already 
slightly from one of the rooms right near this building and right now let's have a closer look right here you of course have an open bar area they can prepare you some fries some pizzas hot dogs sandwiches and here you have some prices you can pause the video just in case you want to check them out slightly better and one of the lovely and friendly workers of this hotel will prepare for us the strawberry daikiri this was the strawberry daikiri that i shared with you on instagram in one of the pictures and if you don't not see that just yet i'm not sure what you're waiting for go and subscribe to my instagram because i share a lot of photos almost every day and interesting videos from here from Benidorm. so this is gonna be just delicious cocktail i'm sure strawberry daikiri just has to be delicious let's see how it's made After we've seen this amazing cocktail, let's explore the surrounding area of the swimming pool. Right there, there's a huge screen with some news and latest updates in there, but it kind of looks strange, but I promise you when you look with a human eye, it's just a huge screen and it looks perfectly fine. Here you have the swimming pool area that's quite big and quite spacious, I must say. There's also a smaller part that is not as deep. There's a children's playground right there and the smaller part for the pool is suitable for children by the way just so that you know there are a lot of sun beds in here and you can put it in the area where you are most comfortable in and right at the back i've spotted this amazing plant garden where they actually plant some aromatic herbs this right here is mint for example they also have quite a few plants of the cayenne pepper some thyme rosemary and a lot more of plants in here and right now let's head to the terrace calypso this is the other bar that is open also for public from the outside and this is how it looks during the day very calm nice and quiet area just in case you want to have a drink and just chat with your friends relatives or with whomever you came to spend your lovely holidays in here it's quiet here during the day but during the night this place transforms itself out and this is how it looks like during the night time the lights are just amazing and during the night there are a lot more people here coming for a drink especially because there's a night entertainment every day from 9 30 there is an interesting new show waiting for you guys in here So, dears, we've just finished our visit to the lovely three-star superior hotel Calypso from Serbia Group. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and maybe this will be the hotel for your future holidays. Don't forget to click a like, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to the channel if you still did not do so because we have still a lot of different interesting and very useful videos upcoming next i wish you a lovely day of today and see you in the next video bye